My beloved child, I see you and I know the burdens you carry. I understand your struggles and the fears that haunt you in the quiet moments of the night. Today I come to you with a message of hope and strength, for I am your God, your Creator, and I love you more than you can fathom. Like this video, if you believe in God, you may feel overwhelmed by the challenges before you, but know this, I am with you. I walk beside you through every trial, every heartache, and every moment of doubt. My presence surrounds you, and my love sustains you. You are never alone, for I have promised never to leave you nor forsake you. The enemy seeks to destroy your spirit, to sow seeds of doubt and despair. But I tell you, do not be afraid. Stand firm in your faith, for I am your shield and your protector. I will not let the enemy's plan succeed. Trust in me, and I will guide you through the storm. Remember, my child, that every difficulty you face is an opportunity for growth. I am refining you, shaping you into the person I created you to be. Through your struggles, you are being strengthened and your faith is being deepened. Embrace these moments, for they are the crucible in which your true character is formed. Type Amen if you agree. When you feel like giving up, remember that I am your strength. When you are weak, I am strong. Lean on me and I will carry you. My grace is sufficient for you and my power is made perfect in your weakness. Do not rely on your own understanding, but trust in me with all your heart. I will make your paths straight. I know there are those in your life who may betray your trust, who may cause you pain. Be wise and discerning, for not everyone who says they are with you is truly for you. I will give you the wisdom to see through their deceptions. Pray for guidance, and I will reveal the truth to you. Trust in my timing and my judgment, for I see what you cannot. Type Amen if you agree. My angels are always around you, watching over you. They fight battles on your behalf that you are unaware of. Do not fear the darkness, for my light is within you. It shines brighter than any darkness and dispels all fear. Hold on to that light and let it guide you through even the darkest of times. Financial struggles, health issues, broken relationships, these are not the end of your story. I have plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. Trust in my promises, for they are true and unfailing. I will open doors that no one can shut, and I will provide for all your needs. Donate us super thanks to support our channel. Pray, my child, with a heart full of faith. Seek me earnestly, and you will find me. In your quiet moments, draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. Let your prayers be filled with trust and hope, for I hear every word. I am moved by your faith, and I respond to the cries of your heart. Do not let bitterness take root in your heart. Forgive those who have wronged you, for in forgiveness there is freedom. Let go of the past and embrace the new things I am doing in your life. I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Trust in my process, for I am making all things new. My love for you is everlasting. It knows no bounds and is unconditional. 
I sent my son to die for you so that you could have eternal life. Embrace that love and let it fill you with peace. Let it drive out all fear and doubt. You are my beloved and I delight in you. As you move forward, remember that I am your shepherd. You shall not want. I make you lie down in green pastures and I lead you beside still waters. I restore your soul. Follow me and I will lead you in paths of righteousness for my name's sake. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fear no evil, for I am with you. My rod and my staff, they comfort you. Take courage, my child. You are strong, you are brave, and you are loved beyond measure. Hold on to my promises, and let your faith be unshakable. I am your God, and I will never fail you. Stand firm, and know that I am with you now and forever. Amen. Type 999 if you believe in Jesus. In your moments of weakness, call out to me, for I am your ever-present help in times of trouble. When the world seems to be closing in around you, remember that I am greater than any obstacle you face. My power is limitless, and my love for you is unending. Do not measure your challenges by your strength, but by mine. When you face trials, know that they are but temporary. The pain and hardship you experience now are not worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed in you. Hold steadfast in your faith, for I am working all things together for your good. Even when you cannot see it, trust that my plans for you are unfolding perfectly. You may feel that you are in a season of waiting, but remember, waiting on me is never wasted time. In these moments, I am teaching you patience, trust, and perseverance. I am preparing you for the blessings that are to come. Be still and know that I am God. I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. Do not let anxiety and worry steal your peace. Cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. When you feel overwhelmed by life's demands, come to me. I will refresh your spirit and renew your strength. I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Stay connected to me, and you will thrive. Type 1010 if you love, love Jesus, Lord. There will be times when you feel isolated, as though no one understands your pain. Remember, I am the one who formed you in your mother's womb. I know you intimately and completely. I understand every tear you shed and every sigh of your heart. I am closer to you than your next breath. In the face of temptation, call upon my name. I will provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. My spirit within you is greater than any power of darkness. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You are set apart, holy, and dearly loved. As you walk this journey, extend grace to others just as I have extended grace to you. Love your neighbor as yourself, and let my love be your guide. Be a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope to those around you. Your life is a testimony of my faithfulness and love. Remember, I have called you by name. 
you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. My promises to you are steadfast and true. I am faithful to complete the good work I have begun in you. Stand on my word and let it be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. My word is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Type 2, 2, 2. If you want blessings in your life, do not be discouraged by the trials you face. Consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Lift your eyes to the hills. Where does your help come from? Your help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. I will not let your foot slip. I watch over you without slumber. I will keep you from all harm. I will watch over your life. I will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. As you continue to seek me with all your heart, you will find me. Delight yourself in me, and I will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to me. Trust in me, and I will act. I will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, your justice like the noonday sun. My child, I am your fortress, your deliverer, your God in whom you take refuge. I am your shield and the horn of your salvation, your stronghold. Call upon me and I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. With long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to me, and I will make your paths straight. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for I am with you wherever you go. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Embrace my peace which surpasses all understanding. Let it guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such things. Type 1111 to show your love to God. In all things, give thanks. Rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. For this is my will for you in Christ Jesus. Let my joy be your strength, and let my love be your anchor. Know that I am with you, now and forevermore. You are my beloved, and I am your God. Amen. My beloved child, in the midst of your journey, always remember that I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I have written every chapter of your life, and I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future. Trust in my divine timing, for I make all things beautiful in their season. When you face crossroads and uncertainties, seek my wisdom. I have promised to give generously to all who ask without finding fault. 
My spirit will guide you into all truth, teaching you and reminding you of everything I have said to you. Lean on this guidance, for it will lead you on paths of righteousness. Understand, my child, that your identity is rooted in me. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, knit together in your mother's womb with a purpose and a calling unique to you. Do not compare yourself to others, for you are my masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which I prepared in advance for you to do. Embrace your individuality, for it reflects my creativity and love. Type 777 If you want blessings in your life, the world may try to define you by its standards, but you are set apart. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Walk in this truth, for it is your heritage as my child. In times of temptation, remember the power of my word. It is the sword of the Spirit, able to cut through the lies and deceptions of the enemy. Meditate on it day and night, letting it dwell richly in you. It will renew your mind and transform your heart, enabling you to discern my good, pleasing, and perfect will. My child, never underestimate the power of prayer. It is your direct line to me, your opportunity to commune with your Creator. Bring your requests to me with thanksgiving, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Pray without ceasing, for I am always ready to listen and to act on your behalf. Be a person of integrity and compassion. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, for in doing so, you reflect my love and mercy. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, for human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Remember that I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Type Jesus is Lord. My beloved child, as you continue to walk in my light, remember the importance of community and fellowship I have placed you among others for a reason. You are not meant to journey alone. Surround yourself with those who share your faith, who will encourage you, lift you up and walk with you through the valleys and the mountaintops. Do not neglect meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another, especially now as you see the day approaching. In community, you will find strength, support, and wisdom. Together, you can bear one another's burdens and fulfill the law of Christ. As you grow in your relationship with me, seek to deepen your understanding of my word. Let it be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Study it diligently, meditate on it daily, and let it transform your heart and mind. My word is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It will guide you, convict you, and empower you to live a life that honors me. Type God is love if you believe in his unconditional love. Be faithful in the small things, my child, for it is in your faithfulness that I see your heart. 
Whether you are entrusted with little or much, be diligent and trustworthy. As you are faithful with what you have been given, I will entrust you with more. Remember, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. Cultivate a heart of gratitude. In all circumstances give thanks, for this is my will for you in Christ Jesus. A grateful heart recognizes my hand at work in every situation, whether good or bad. Gratitude will guard your heart against bitterness and resentment and will keep your spirit uplifted. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving present your requests to me and my peace, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Trust that I am in control and rest in my peace. Remember to love deeply, from the heart. Love one another as I have loved you. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciple. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Type grace upon grace if you've experienced God's endless grace. Let your love be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. You are my ambassador, representing me to the world. Live in such a way that others see me in you. Let your actions speak louder than your words. Show kindness, mercy, and compassion. Be quick to forgive, slow to anger, and abounding in love. As you go forth, remember that my grace is always sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in your weakness. When you feel inadequate, lean on me. I am your strength and your shield. I am your ever-present help in times of trouble. You can do all things through Christ, who gives you strength. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus the author and perfecter of your faith. Run with perseverance the race marked out for you, laying aside every weight and the sin that so easily entangles. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. In the face of adversity, stand firm. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Withstand the enemy's attacks with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Post blessed beyond measure if you feel blessed by God. Pray continually, my child, and be alert. Always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Prayer is your lifeline to me, your source of strength and wisdom. Through prayer, you will find clarity, peace, and direction. Do not underestimate its power. Remember that you are my masterpiece, created for good works that I prepared in advance for you to do. Your life has a purpose, and every moment is significant. Live each day with intentionality, 
seeking to glorify me in all you do. As you continue, I am with you every step of the way. My love for you is steadfast, my grace is sufficient, and my presence is constant. You are my beloved child, and I am your God. Go forth in my peace, my strength, and my love. Shine brightly in this world, for you are a light in the darkness. Trust in me with all your heart, and I will guide your path. Amen. My beloved child, in the midst of your daily life, always seek to cultivate a spirit of humility and service. Remember that I came not to be served, but to serve, and to give my life as a ransom for many. Let this mindset be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Humility opens the door to my grace, for I oppose the proud but give grace to the humble. As you serve others, do so with a heart full of love and compassion. Whatever you do for the least of these, you do for me. Look for opportunities to bless others, to lift their burdens, and to share my love with them. In serving others, you will find joy and fulfillment, for it is more blessed to give than to receive. Type Pray more worry less if you believe in the power of prayer. Be mindful of the words you speak. Let your speech always be full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Words have the power to build up or tear down, to heal or to hurt. Use your words to encourage, to edify, and to bring life. Speak truth in love, and let your words reflect the love and kindness that I have shown you. Cultivate a heart of generosity. Give, and it will be given to you, a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Do not hold tightly to your possessions, but be willing to share with those in need. Your generosity will not only bless others, but will also bring blessings into your own life. Keep your eyes focused on eternity. The things of this world are temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Live with an eternal perspective, knowing that your true home is with me. Remember the power of gratitude. In every situation, give thanks, for this is my will for you in Christ Jesus. A grateful heart is a joyful heart, and gratitude has the power to transform your outlook on life. Count your blessings, and remember that every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of the heavenly lights. Do not be discouraged by the trials and tribulations you face. Consider it pure joy, my child, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Trust that I am with you in every trial, and that I am using these experiences to shape and refine you. Comment, let go and let God if you've entrusted your life to God. Stay connected to me through prayer and worship. Make time each day to be still in my presence, to listen to my voice and to pour out your heart to me. Worship me in spirit and in truth, for I inhabit the praises of my people. In my presence, 
you will find fullness of joy and peace that surpasses all understanding. Be a peacemaker in a world that is often filled with conflict and division. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Seek to bring reconciliation and harmony wherever you go. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Let your actions be marked by love, patience, and kindness. Remember that you are my ambassador, representing me to those around you. Live in such a way that others see my light shining through you. Be salt and light in the world, preserving what is good and illuminating the darkness. Your life is a testimony of my grace and power, and through you others will come to know me. Do not be afraid to step out in faith. I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Trust that I am with you and that I will equip you for every good work when I call you to step into the unknown. Know that I go before you and prepare the way. Be bold and courageous, for I am your God, and I am with you wherever you go. In times of doubt and uncertainty, cling to my promises. My word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Meditate on it day and night and let it guide your steps. My promises are sure and steadfast, and I am faithful to fulfill every one of them. Do not waver in unbelief, but be strengthened in your faith, giving glory to God. Type strength in faith if your belief gives you strength. As you continue on this journey, know that I am always with you. My love for you is everlasting, and my presence is constant. You are my beloved child, and I delight in you. Go forth in my peace, my strength, and my love, and let your life be a reflection of my glory. Amen. My beloved child, as you continue to walk in my light, always keep your heart open to my leading. I am continually working in your life, guiding you, and shaping you into the person I created you to be. Trust in my plans for you, for they are good, and they are designed to give you a hope and a future. Embrace each new day with a spirit of expectancy. Know that I am doing a new thing in your life. Can you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Open your heart to the possibilities and opportunities that each day brings. Be ready to step out in faith and to embrace the new things I am doing in your life. Remember to walk in the spirit of forgiveness. Just as I have forgiven you, so you must also forgive others. Holding on to bitterness and resentment will only weigh you down and keep you from experiencing the fullness of my joy and peace. Release those who have wronged you and let my love heal your heart. Forgiveness is a powerful act of obedience and trust in my justice. Post miracles happen if you've witnessed God's miracles in life. Be vigilant in guarding your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. What you allow into your heart and mind will shape your thoughts, attitudes, and actions. Fill your mind with things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. Let my word dwell richly in you, teaching and admonishing you with all wisdom. Cultivate a spirit of perseverance. The journey of faith is not always easy, but it is always worth it. 
Press on toward the goal to win the prize for which I have called you heavenward in Christ Jesus. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Keep running the race with endurance, fixing your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith. In moments of discouragement, remember that I am your comforter. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. When you feel brokenhearted, I am close to you, and I save those who are crushed in spirit. Cast all your anxiety on me, because I care for you. I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. As you navigate through life's challenges, seek my wisdom. I give wisdom generously to all who ask without finding fault. Type, walk by faith, if you live your life guided by faith. My beloved child, as you continue to walk in my ways, remember to keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and finisher of your faith. I am your guide, your light, and your salvation. In every decision, in every step you take, seek my will and my direction. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. In the quiet moments, listen for my voice. Be still and know that I am God. In the stillness, you will hear my whispers of love, guidance, and encouragement. I speak to you through my word, through the gentle nudges of the Holy Spirit, and through the circumstances of your life. Stay attuned to my voice and you will find peace and clarity. Know that I am your provider. I supply all your needs according to my riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Do not worry about what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Comment, trust his timing, if you believe God's timing is perfect. When you face difficulties, remember that I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore do not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. I am with you in every storm, calming the winds and waves. Trust in my protection and my provision. Embrace the power of prayer in every aspect of your life. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is my will for you in Christ Jesus. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Bring your petitions, your worries, your joys, and your sorrows to me in prayer. I hear you, and I am moved by your faith. Guard your heart against the distractions and temptations of this world. The enemy prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. Stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Keep the flame of your faith burning brightly. 
fan into flame the gift of God that is in you. Do not let the cares of this world snuff out your passion for me. Be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Let your faith be a light that guides you and a beacon to those around you. Type, Seek His Will, if you seek God's will in your decisions. Know that you are called to a higher purpose. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Live out your calling with boldness and confidence, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. Be a vessel of my love and grace to those around you. Love your neighbor as yourself. Show kindness, compassion, and forgiveness. Let your actions be a testament to my love. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Let us not become weary in doing good, for we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Stay connected to the body of Christ. Do not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. In community, you will find support, encouragement, and strength. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. As you continue this journey, Know that I am with you always, to the very end of the age. My love for you is eternal, my grace is sufficient, and my presence is constant. You are my beloved child, and I delight in you. Go forth in my peace, my strength, and my love, and let your life be a reflection of my glory. Amen. Post shine his light if you aim to reflect God's light in the world. My beloved child, as you journey forward in faith, continue to let my love and light shine through you. Remember, you are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Commit to a life of obedience to my word. Obey my commandments, for they are not burdensome. They are given to you for your good, to guide you into a life of blessing and fulfillment. If you love me, you will keep my commandments and I will love you and manifest myself to you. Seek justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Be an advocate for the oppressed, a voice for the voiceless, and a friend to the friendless. In doing so, you will reflect my heart to a hurting world, Remember that whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. In your interactions with others, always strive to exhibit the fruits of the Spirit. Let love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control be evident in your life. By their fruit you will recognize them. Let these qualities shine brightly in you, drawing others to the truth of my love. Type his plans, my dreams, if you believe God's plans are greater. Understand the power of your testimony. 
Your story of my work in your life has the power to inspire and encourage others. Do not be ashamed to share what I have done for you. They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Your experiences, both trials and triumphs, can be a beacon of hope to those around you. Remain steadfast in your faith, even in the face of persecution or adversity. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. Remember, I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Continue to develop a spirit of gratitude. Thankfulness opens the door to my presence and aligns your heart with mine. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Gratitude will guard your heart and mind, keeping you focused on my goodness and faithfulness. Embrace the power of worship. Worship is more than a song, it is a lifestyle. Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Let your life be an act of worship, reflecting my glory in all you do. Comment, Save by Grace, if you're grateful for God's saving grace. Know that I am always near, even when you feel distant or alone. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you always, guiding, protecting, and loving you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. As you grow in your relationship with me, Continue to seek deeper intimacy. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Spend time in my presence and allow my Spirit to fill you, guide you, and transform you. Let my Word dwell richly in you, teaching and admonishing you with all wisdom. Serve others with a heart full of love and humility. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Your service to others is an act of worship to me, and it brings glory to my name. Type, Faith Moves Mountains, if you believe in the power of faith. Type Amen if you agree, like this video if you believe in God. Subscribe this channel for more videos.